Good morning guys, happy Monday. Today I'm gonna to be talking about within every obstacle, there is the solution. And it's quite interesting that I actually watched something the other day and the guy was talking about how, you know, to every problem, you know, if you overcome it, you've managed to go through some, some things that now, in hindsight, it's very easy to look at and go, you know, had you not had that obstacle in the way, you wouldn't have come to the solution. So yeah, something happened to me and, and it's something that I'm very troubled by, which is when I've applied for certain jobs, they've not wanted to give me that job despite all my experience, all my skill, all my talent, despite me being exactly in the, in the interview who they wanted, I've been rejected by certain companies because I don't have a matric certificate. And I was talking to someone this weekend about it and they joked and they said, you know, why don't you get your matric? And of course, I've never thought of that after nearly, you know, okay, let's, let's not go there. Let's not count how many years since I left school. But I've just never thought about actually getting my matric. And for the longest time, I've always kind of banged my chest about how amazing it is that I've climbed the ladder in my career and reached successes without having a matric or any formal education. But something happened yesterday. That joke, which I shrugged off at the time, kind of stuck with me and I decided that instead of me fighting this anymore, I'm actually going to do my matric. And I looked into it and it's possible. I'm not going to be able to do it this year, unfortunately. So it's definitely part of my goals for this year is to study for my matric and I'll have to write my exams in 2020. It's a long way away. It's, it's a long goal. And, and right now my immediate um, energy has to be focused on the work that, I, that I've got to put in or the, or the effort of finding um, a new opportunity for myself and not letting these limitations hold me back, I've got to find a solution, uh, um, an opportunity that's going to allow me to practice my craft and earn a salary using the skills I have and who, who aren't going to... Um, You aren't going to limit me by not having a matric. And I have to just accept that. That's the thing. It's the acceptance of some places require a matric. I need to get a matric if I want to work at those places. Not feeling like a victim and going, I don't have a matric. What's wrong with them? How on earth has anything got to do with that? And, and the truth is, in my opinion, that, that won't change. Nothing that I have learned came from school. Nothing that I have learned has aided me to get to where I am. But it's their requirement. Instead of whining about it, I want to take a victor um, attitude and mentality about it. And I've changed my mindset and I'm going to get my matric. So does it help me right now? No, I've still got to find a way of earning money. I've still got to bring in business. I've still got to find a new company to work with. But in saying that, I do have this goal now in my mind, which is going to drive me for the next year plus to study and push myself because there's something I really want to do. And it is a mindset shift of within every obstacle, there is a solution. And I'm probably going to look back and someday and go, had I not had this obstacle in the way, I would never have gotten my matriculate, my, my matric certificate, and I would never have risen up eventually 
and go on and done that. Now, I've got to tell you, I'm so impressed with my high school because I actually emailed them and said, you know, I need my report card. I've got to show that I got these, um, you know, got through school and I got what was a standard eight, which I think is a grade 10. I have to show them that, uh, that I've done that in order to even apply for this. And I mailed them late yesterday afternoon and this morning they've already gotten my report to me and I'm so embarrassed and I wish, I really do, I, I can't honestly, mm. I'm so embarrassed at my marks and the lack of foresight to be able to see how important my school education would have been in my life because it's been a really hard road it hasn't been easy to get to where I've gotten a lot of people um, can see my confidence and, and maybe a little bit of cockiness as you know I've had this easy road and, and the whole thing but people don't see the excuse me people don't see the endless hours that I put in and the amount of rejection I've had and the effort that it's taken to be where I am right now and and just you know there's things that I often go you know like there's so much life skill and whatever that I never got because of the family that I grew up in and the lack of education and things like that and it's nobody's fault but my own for not realizing things but hey on a positive note I'm going to get on the trick excited about this I'm overcoming something that is right now holding me back and that's all you can do it's the, the message here is find the obstacles in your life as the tools in which to push you and drive you and you will find a solution in that problem so utilize it don't be a victim to it, but a victor. Hey guys, enjoy the rest of your Monday. Have a great week ahead. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.